Stop, won't stop. My name's Lee Boy. And I'm your co-host with the most fuzz. Chill out, champ. Just stay in your puppet place. Now, uh, today I want to talk about something that irritates me. Politics. But Lee Boy, politics are so much fun. They allow us to debate, gather at rallies, and best of all, vote! Yay! <laughs> You paint an awfully pretty picture of politics, Fuzz, but in reality, American politics has a two-party system that makes us citizens choose between a progressive and conservative agenda. It just doesn't seem to reflect the current state of American voters. I hear you, Lee Boy, but it's still important to participate in politics to make sure your voice is heard. Really, Fuzz? And who is actually hearing my voice when my primary vote is being cannibalized by superdelegates and the antiquated caucus system seems to prioritize states that align with the status quo of American society? And if all else fails, voter suppression and foreign election meddling will take care of the rest. I mean, the whole thing just seems rigged for a predetermined outcome. Russian hacking is no longer just a Cold War movie plot. U.S. officials confirmed Russia meddled in the 2016 presidential election. According to U.S. intelligence agencies, Russian President Vladimir Putin directed the campaign, which had three elements, online propaganda, stealing documents, and leaking them while targeting U.S. state election systems. The Russian disinformation campaign sprawled over Facebook, Twitter, and Google through fake web accounts and pages shared with more than 100 million people. Russian operatives slid posts into millions of Americans' news feeds, devising fictitious content targeting specific groups of voters, and millions of Americans shared it. Wow, Lee boy. I never knew there were so many voting issues, but what can we do to secure the vote? You know, I, I'm not sure, Fuzz. I mean, our current president has already been impeached for his treasonous acts connected to election meddling, but with all the distractions taking place, it's been long forgotten. But this Obamagate distraction? Now, that's all time random. Obamagate, it's been going on for a long time. It's been going on from before I even got elected, and it's a disgrace that it happened. What is the crime exactly that uh, you're accusing him of? You know what the crime is. The crime is very obvious to everybody. All you have to do is read the newspapers, except yours. This was all Obama. This was all Biden. These people were corrupt. The I whole thing guess, was corrupt. Lee boy. I'm just not sure why he's so focused on the last president in the middle of a health crisis. Uh, it all seems so politically charged. Hence my irritation. And Attorney General William Barr, He's just as fed up with all the petty political practices. Been increasing attempts to use the criminal justice system as a uh, political weapon. The legal tactic has been to gin up uh, allegations of criminality uh, by one's political opponents based uh, on the flimsiest of, of legal theories. Uh, this is not a good development. This is not good for our political life and it's not good for the criminal justice system. And as long as I'm attorney general, the criminal justice system will not be used for uh, partisan political ends. About time we see someone stand up to this administration. I just wish we had more people within the political system that cared about the needs of the citizens. That sounds like socialism. And we're seeing a form of socialism right now among the elite, the rich sharing with the rich with CEOs resigning and securing their profits just before the pandemic, the targeted payouts of the coronavirus stimulus package, and skeptical vetting of contracts for medical equipment and pharmaceuticals, I say elite socialism is working out pretty well for members of highbrow society. That doesn't sound fair at all. Uh, why can't we just get everyone to put their minds together and get it right? Oh, you want to get your mind right, huh? Oh, I got something for that. Sure, yeah, yeah, I'd like to get my mind right. Oh yeah, cause you suffering from broke brain. We can fix that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we gonna get your head oh, right. Oh no, let me out of here. Hey, I told you we was gonna get your head together. <laughs> so like I was saying, I don't like politics. My name is Lee Boy. Have a nice day.